right, let's see if this worked. My phone's been crazy lately. Just refreshing. Yay. All right. Hang in there, everybody. I'm putting you up on the your spot for the rest of the two hours. Let's see how that works. See that my messy little station here. Okay, we're all going to have some fun. Welcome everyone to Jennifer's DP Addiction Adventure Party. Hey Sheila, Alexis, Cats Gallery, Becky, Marissa, Charlene, Karen, Andy, Francine, Christina, Christine, Tail Whip, Crafting with Christy, Elisa, Janice, Trisha, Collector Chick, Sherry's Creative Niche, Staff with Kiwi, Karina Cool Creations, Diamond Painting with Eskies. Wow, welcome everyone. Cindy's Outer Body Crafting, that's how I feel tonight. <laughs> Tasha, Angie, Barbara Lee, Ginger's Reborn, P. Ray, Rachel Claire, Ensley, Corey, Shell Michelle Hensley, Whitney, Blood Noir, Tiny Pufferfish, Teresa, My Crazy Craft Addiction, Ashley, welcome, Lauren, welcome, Gravy, Shandra, welcome, Kelly Head, woohoo, hey Kelly, I am going to be ordering some of those bags that you make, I know that you did it on, um, <clears throat> got off my meds, and I just love them, I've visited your site, so I'm just waiting to save up for those, so excited. My Crazy Craft Addiction, Donna, Becky's Madness, hey, hey, Becky, you did not fly today, I'm sorry, I couldn't help you today. <laughs> Laura's Law Craft Corner, Alyssa, welcome, Michelle Smith, Jill Graff, Molly Ingle, Tail Whip again, Drill Baby, Rebecca McClellan, Rhonda, Sparkle On. Guys, I am so excited tonight. I basically, I know it just looks like white here, but this is my current whip in progress. So I'm going to get this party started and um, show you my work in progress. So with the DPSON, uh, many of you have known that I've been sick the last couple days. So my voice is going to go up and down, but don't worry, that's just my vocal cords. I'm good, I'm awake, I had a wonderful nap, Eskies just really helped put me to sleep, <laughs> but Eskies, it was 4 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> I tried so hard, but that NyQuil just hit me, <laughs> so, um, hey Nan, good to see you, Lori, good to see you, Audrey, so glad you could make it. If I missed anybody, I'm so sorry. Yes, my headache is better. I just have a little bit of a cold remaining, but I feel good. My energy level's back. Um, but I knew, I did a lot of diamond painting this weekend. And I had four work in progresses. I finished two out of the four. And first of all, I have a funny story about one of my work in progresses. It's Cinderella from DAC and hey everyone who just came in oh Cindy glad you could work and work I've been doing that all weekend hi Kathy glad you could make it in Jackie how you feeling Jackie Kathy Goodman Lizzie quiet inspiration Carol B glad you could make it in oh you can barely hear me okay I'll try to speak louder. It could be because I moved my head away. Let me see what I can do about this. You can see my half pretty shirt right now. All right, can you hear me better?
I do have a cold, so it's really hard for me to speak right now loudly. Okay. Now, tonight, bear with me because I will be turning my head a little bit um, because I'm going to get to that. So, I um, usually have two work in progresses going at once. One is in my... Um, you know what? Just a second. I'm going to move my computer this side so I can talk to you and see my computer. That might work better. So, here we go. Now we're all set. Um, so usually I have one right here in my craft room and then I have one upstairs in the living room bedroom area. Well, because of my cold and if anybody's been around for my channel, um, you'll know that my husband has been diagnosed with a um, immune disorder or disease or whatever you want to call it. So anytime I get sick, he either I get kicked out of the bedroom or he gets kicked out of the bedroom. So this time, um, he, <laughs> he got kicked out of the bedroom and he liked it better that way because then I contain all the germs in one room instead of all the germs all over the house. So I tried to convince him, but he's like, no. So that means I slept with Cinderella. <laughs> so next to me, um, instead of him, laid flat my like three-fourths done Cinderella of Diamond Art Club. <laughs> So for the past couple nights, <laughs> I don't know, it just hit me funny that I'm sleeping with Cinderella. I don't know why it hit me funny. But anyway, that's my work in progress upstairs. And then down in the craft room, I had three going on at the same time. And I was just stressing myself out. So um, I, with the diamond paint along, I was able to get two done. One was a Dreamer Designs, except I'm waiting for drills that they shorted me. And the other one was um, a special drill because I've never done a special drill. <laughs> Did you make up? <laughs> I wish, Rhonda, right? <laughs> so, um, but anyway, I thought because we normally don't, as creators, if we're hosting, get a lot of diamond painting done, I was like, screw that. I'm not going to diamond paint, but I wanted to show you my stash. And I thought this would be a great way to show you. You could ask questions. I could explain things. Um, I am going to say up front that I do not know where I got most of my stash from. Um, I do have videos for every single thing I'm going to show you. So feel free to scroll through my videos. Most of my videos have a thumbnail with that image. So it should be easy to find. And then in the description will be the link that I purchased at that moment. Now, some of the AliExpress stores come and go with their design, so don't be a hater. And um, if for some reason that store no longer sells it, just do your homework. You can contact me. I'll try to help you find it. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd start my stash with my current whip in progress. A lot have seen the DS DSC, DAC Cinderella. That's upstairs, I didn't bring it down. But this, I don't know what to call it. So right now I'm calling it London Night or Night in London. I do know that I got this from Who I Can. And um, it is a 70 by 50. It has 50, it was a custom, it's a round. And this is what I have so far. And I'm loving it. Um, it was during the Arma, um, Dromageddon, but this ended up being around, so I'm not having any problems with it. So that's number, number one. Now, I have a bunch of gorgeous girls. I explained in Donnie's live, we just all came from, that I 
I'm a huge thing on copyright. <laughs> um, yeah, Eskies, no kidding. So I went through a gorgeous girl um, phase, but what I did so I could sleep at night is I went to the site. I purchased um, the either the print or the pattern, even though I don't crochet something so that I could then get the image itself, not just cut and paste it off of a website. Once I received that image and I knew the artist was getting money, then I would um, send the image to do a custom. So that's how I live with myself. If you don't like that, that's fine. That's your opinion. Um, but I'm just explaining that's, that's how it dealt with these gorgeous girls. So one of my friends, my YouTube friend, I kept being scared of ordering something huge and she's like oh girl you got to go big or go home and I'm like I, I can't do it like I I'm not somebody who likes really really big diamond paintings my go-to size is 40 by 50 I usually don't go much smaller than that and so she's like I'm gonna buy you your first huge diamond painting so this one is 90 by 60 it has 50 colors and it's the gorgeous girl with um, London in the background. So she's got roses in her hair and London in the background. And it's huge. I haven't done it. <laughs> it scares me. I mean, look how big this thing is. It's like I can't even get it on my crafting table. <laughs> um. Now these are all, the gorgeous girls are from Hua Can. 70 by 50. This is, now the picture doesn't do it justice, um, but it's a fall gorgeous girl. So th this is like really pretty green grass. Um, they just didn't print it to color, but the drills are vibrant. Um, this one, I, whoops, I loved, it's a 60 by 60 and I love aquas. So this is hot air balloon over, whoop, can't see that. Yeah, so hot air balloons over the desert. I don't know why, the, these colors in the background are just gorgeous. So I work with refugees and we have a three poster. This was huge. I don't think I'm ever going to do it. <laughs> but we have three posters and I got one of them. And it's We the People and it's a, a Middle Eastern woman. And then they have an African and they have um, like a, a Muslim background. And so I got one. And this is like yellows and reds and blues. It's going to be beautiful. And it says, um, defend dignity. So every one of the posters has a different thing on the bottom. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me read some chats. Let's see here. So you guys doing good? You doing good? Okay. So this is, I'm showing you a bunch of my customs first because they're the bigger ones. So they're sticking out of my portfolio. Oh, what size was that? I'm sorry. It's an 80 by 60. So this is my daughter when she was two or three. I love this picture and I had to get a diamond painting of it. So... This is my beautiful girl. I just thought that picture is gorgeous. It's one of my favorites. And it, this one's a 70 by 50. I was going through a big, big phase. <laughs> Excuse me. My daughter begged me to do this one. She wanted a comparison of 
our first dog who she grew up with. Where did I put my water? There it is, behind my computer. Just a second, drink break. Excuse me, guys. Um, I'm going to grab a cough drop. <coughs> so my daughter wanted a comparison of the dog she grew up with with our current dog, Zoe Zoom Zoom. So this is Kaylee. Isn't she cutie? So this was her when she was about, oh, maybe 10 to 12 weeks old. And she grew from a football size to a 95 pound black lab mixed with Great Dane. This is a 60 by 50 with 49 colors. And then this is Zoe. You guys have all seen Zoe, but she, this was when she was a puppy, about 12 weeks old. So my daughter wanted us to do, yeah, so these are all Hua King Customs. And I'm, I was scared at first because it was during the Dromageddon. This one is a 60 by 50 as well. <coughs> um, but they sent me new drills. So out of the 10 customs I had, I just told them, you know what, I don't have time to actually do them right now. So you need to um, just send me the drills right now. <coughs> okay so now we're going into more gorgeous girls so this is the green green's my ultimate favorite color and this is a 60 by 40 hey Wendy we're doing a stash reveal. This is also a 60 by 40. And this is uh, says love, hope, and faith. Or maybe it's just open faith. Little angel. Yeah, right, Andy? This is, all, like I said, 60 by 40. It has 46 colors. This is a 60 by 40. <clears throat> and it's a... Uh, Gorgeous girl coming out of a pot, <laughs> like she's growing, and then there's a little rose next to her. Yes, who I can does do round drills. <coughs> this I had to get. This is Baby Belle holding Beast. And even though the colors look a little washed out, they're phenomenal. I love this one. This might be something I'm doing soon. <laughs> right, Black Noir? Um, 50 by 40. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, all these new cans were bought before the drill Mageddon. And so I requested new drills. I don't know what this is called, but I loved that red hair. Oh my gosh, it was just beautiful. So I had to get it. 60 by 40. The reason these weren't 40 by 50s is because they looked a little um, <clears throat> blurry in the 40 by 50. All right, mute your phones. I'm going to blow my nose. All right, you can unmute. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> We're almost done with all the huge paintings. This one you guys have seen because I'm sending it to Gail Spritzer. She's the one that won our 1,000 subscriber getaway. This is Night Thinking, Daydreaming. Love it. I found the best one is Ever Moment. It's worth the little extra cost that they do because they do quality control. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Okay, so that was a 70 by 50. This I absolutely love. It's a 70 by 50. This one was from AZQSD. 
And this is a sunflower. I love sunflowers. <clears throat> With a little bee on it. I don't know if you can see the bee right there. You guys hanging in there with me? <laughs> All right, so this is the one <coughs> that I was supposed to get as a, I'm sorry, I screwed up your order. And it was another screw up order. And they don't have a thumbnail, so I'm gonna have to open it for you. It's horrible. It's the blue daisies. So I'm just going to open up a little bit of it, but it's the blue daisies in the blue pot. It's a 50 by 60. But there's puckers and rivers, and it's a mess. So this is by Yikey. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> These are all my non-DACs. All right, this is my tree. This is the one that I just unboxed recently. It's my three seasons. Give me a second and I'll get it in the frame correctly. Three seasons, four seasons, what am I thinking? So it's, um, let me see if I have Um, no, I don't have it kitted up right here, but it's the Four Seasons. <clears throat> this is a DAC. This was my first DAC, I believe. This is, I always get the exact names wrong. Tell me stories. So I'm very excited. This is a, um, a square. I got the square version of this. It's a 60 by 79. <clears throat> so super excited. So I got that one. This one you saw me unbox. This is the... Um, um, dandelion. Oh, thank you, Tasha. I'm getting there. I sound worse than I am. <coughs> this is stuck in there, but it's a finished one. So you can see a finished dash. This is this little light of mine. It's beautiful. I love it. It's still my favorite DAC I've done. <clears throat> and I have to figure out, I got to get it in a frame and hang it up on the wall absolutely gorgeous I just I love the dress now I want to take some time to talk about the night before the DAC launch you guys ready so I was talking with DAC and I was up super late it was Friday and it was almost three o'clock it was 2 30 in the morning Eastern Standard Hey Allie, so glad you can make it. And I was asking them about something. I forget what it is. And so I was chit-chatting and saying how much I loved Cinderella and the shading of the dress. I just was like, it's phenomenal. I love it. And she was telling me that the they will only allow one charter now to work on Mandy Manzano's because of the way her shading is the other ones are great the other charters but they don't get her and so the shading hasn't been up to par to Diamond Art Club standards like that beastie um, image things like that so the person who did Cinderella is now the only one allowed to do the charting. <laughs> I was like, that poor, that poor guy. I think it's a male. 
Like, <laughs> we're begging for more, and now only one person can do it. But they were saying it takes the patience of a saint because it's not just color blocking, it's the type of shading. And that's what I loved about this one, and I love about Cinderella, is the shading. Like, I love this dress and how it turned out. So, I just wanted to explain that a little bit to you in case you wanted the background of something from DAC. She happily shared that with me. <clears throat> okay, so this is Rhonda, your gift you got for me. I'm so excited to do it. The rainbow elephant. <clears throat> so shout out to Rhonda in her kind heart. Love this little guy. Stained glass rainbow elephant. Now, I don't know what the artist is. Stitcherista have this one. I got this from Evershine, I think. Yeah. So, um, I went to the link that she provided, purchased... <laughs> My husband's rolling his eyes because he's like, you don't crochet. But I purchased the crochet pattern... <clears throat> And then I sent it in for a custom. So I got this one. Now this one is the one, if anyone's been watching my channel, that um, I bought two of by accident. <laughs> I wanted to use two different coupons. So I sent this to Evershine and I sent it to um, a... QZSD and I didn't realize I had sent both so this should be coming up I, I can't decide if I'm going to sell it for the price I purchased I'm not making money I just want to sell it for what I purchased it or if I'm going to do it as a giveaway so I will see the other one is still here second let me grab it still in its wrapper it's a 40 by 50 45 colors So, we'll see what I decide to do. <clears throat> this is one of the first this is one of the first ones I bought. You can't see the thumbnail, but it's the library bookshelf one where all the imaginary characters are on the bookshelf. Um, however, there's a lot of rivers and, and different things, and so I wasn't sure when I wanted to do it because I have so many other ones that appeal to me. Um, in person, it doesn't look like it'll come out, but through the viewfinder, it looks like it's got some promise. All right. This I bought to do in the winter. I love this little, little guy. So this is a 50 by 50 with 50 colors. <clears throat> now, the story behind this. This is before I knew DAC. I saw this. This is Wonderland. And so I purchased it. And now, <coughs> um, I don't know what to do with it because I don't want to do it because I feel like I'm stealing from Mandy Manzano. So this is the Wonderland one. And I got it from Hua Can. And it's a 70 by 50, 50 colors. And so it's just been in my stash because I I didn't want to do it on principle. So I haven't decided yet what I want to do. This is one of the first ones I purchased. It's the dandelion with the aquas, oranges. It looks better. It's um, still, it's a 40 by 50. I don't know how many colors it has because it's not labeled. I've had this kitted up for a year, but for some reason it just doesn't appeal to me right now. So maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. I don't know when. We'll see. <laughs> I 
Kinsley, you had a heart attack. Um, here's a done one. I don't have room for it in my portfolio because it's just like 10 centimeters too big. So, this was fun to do after I have did a couple darker ones. It was nice to have some vibrant colors. And, let's see, two, four, six. I think it had like 40 colors and it's a 50 by 60. Here's another done one because it was too big and I've got to get washi tape on it because it has all the crap from the bottom of my folder. This is a gorgeous girl, 50 by 50, 45 colors. It is sealed. This is a gorgeous girl I started but it was popping, 70 by 40. Also, here in Michigan, it's snowing. Oop. So, um, I wanted to not do it. I'm sorry, it's not snowing now. I didn't want to do it when it's spring. <coughs> so, I started it, <coughs> and it's popping. You can actually see, but they sent me the new drills. So I need to go back and put it in. Yes, with the aqua glue. Yes, Carly. Yes, Michigander. That's me. I'm originally from Ohio, though. This is the Dreamer Designs. I'm going to be doing a post review on that in the next couple days. This you're getting a sneak peek of because nobody has seen me work on it. Is the special drills. When I finished, I'll be doing a post review on it. This is my teal peacock. I can't wait to do. The colors are just amazing. I'm trying to get it up there. Doesn't work great because it's so small. But it's beautiful. Um, this is my aqua flower. So I like that one. <laughs> Hensley, it's mine. We have some little ones. So this was me trying to pick something off of, I think it was, can't remember if it was New Frog or Peggy Bye, and I didn't realize it was a partial. So I haven't done this one yet. It's 11 colors. This one is one I won off of AliExpress. It's Dopey from The Seven Dwarfs. This is one my daughter did. This, this little guy, I'm just going to open him so you can see him. This is Yoda from Star Wars. It's just a cute little project for on the go. And then this was a free one I had gotten. And then, one more. And this special drill one. Architectural Dev. Bless you. So for those of you who do not know, 
the money sign down by the chat is for a super chat. So if something sounds really funny or you want to encourage me or you want to see something for the channel, um, you know, that's what that's for. And that money that goes to YouTube goes to me. And I then use that money back in the channel to do things like this. So thank you so much. I already have a, two things on my wish list for our channel. Um, number one is a better tripod. Um, Stitcherisa just posted one that's an overhang that I think will do much better for us in our community. Number two, I'm drooling over the <coughs> wireless headphone, like earplugs, that got off my meds just purchased. And I'm really excited um, because they come in with built-in microphone, and I have a lot of trouble making sure you guys can hear me. So those are kind of two things on my wish list. Then there's a couple other, I'm not going to tell you things on the wish list because they're for you guys to learn. Um, okay, so a couple more things. I'm going to show you what I already have in boxes too. So I have Diamond Art from Leisure Arts. Um, I have, just a second, I've got all my Diamond Art Club's boxes under here. This is Off to Neverland from Diamond Art Club. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. And let's see, what else do I have down here? Oh, they're really under my desk, so just a minute. You should see me trying to get down here. Not really. <laughs> I'm never going to get back up. Send the dogs. <laughs> you guys wanted a stash video, right? We're doing a show and tell. All right. I think that's it for my Diamond Art Club boxes. <laughs> okay. still here. All right. This is Ferrophilia. Super excited to do this one. Been on my wish list forever. This is Mama Knows. Everyone has seen this. Yes, send help, please. <sighs> This is the tower. I need some money for my wheelchair. Then <laughs> <coughs> Elizabeth. So that's my uh, Diamond Art Club stash. Ugh. I've got more coming, guys. Don't worry. Got more. <laughs> A wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm getting buried alive. Send the shuffle to. <laughs> this is uh, <coughs> um, 
Teen Dream. <laughs> yeah, this is the 12 step program. Realizing you have a problem. <laughs> oh, so I keep my Diamond Art Club boxes until I do them and then um when I'm done, I use them like to send out gifts or um, different things. Don't worry, it's still more coming. All right, so I have this beautiful white owl. <laughs> Your house is looking similar. <laughs> I know, Ashley, when I opened up your thing and saw <laughs> you hugging your boxes, I don't know what to call this one. So Cheryl Shoemate sent me these. Thank you so much. So excited. This is one I need to do a review on. I made the mistake of putting a tie around it. Don't do that. But I was shorted drills, and I'm working with the company to get drills. So I still have to do that. And then, just a second. I've got all my stickers, but I'm not going to get those out. And I have four more of the like snowman sequence from Sander Direct, but I don't, sorry guys, I don't know where those are. So we're going to have to put those four on hold because I'm pretty much buried alive right now. <laughs> if I move, things are going to just like fall to S-H-I-T. So that is my current stash. I don't think I have any more hiding unless something falls on my head I'm not thinking of. Ah! They are. Just a second. Do, do, do. I'm rescuing myself from my scrapbook cart. It's mad at me because I haven't touched it. So yeah, that's my stash. What do you guys think? <laughs> Any favorites? So you kind of see I'm all over the place with taste. I went through a gorgeous girl moment. I'm in a diamond art club. I have five coming. So I'm excited about that. As you can see, I went through a custom. Now the custom phase was because before we knew who a can was having an drill mageddon, there Customs were on clearance, like not clearance, but they were, I mean, most of these I got for $8, the Hula Can ones. I mean, $8 for a 60 by 50 or whatever size they were. <laughs> oh, Corey, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, next time I'll have to do like a completed works. I know I did that a while ago, um, but I'll have to do a video on completed works. Those I love as well. Wendy, hey! Wendy, I just went through my whole stash. So you'll have to like watch the replay. Hard hat. Yes, Carl, thank you. <laughs> I had a paper plate falling on my head. I had, I had um, 
Oh, I have one more. I lied. You guys let me forget to show you this one. Oh my goodness. Trying to call me a liar. All right, this is a rhinestone custom. This store, you can do rhinestones or rounds or squares. Ah! I'm making such a mess. So this is one of the Japanese girls. And I have a green one already, but I did this maroon red one in rhinestone. So yeah, Andy, if you go on my video and you will see a thumbnail, if you scroll through all my videos, you'll see a thumbnail with both her and a green version of this. And you can click on that. You don't have to watch the whole thing, but it's an unboxing. And in the description, we'll have the link to this place. One thing I did learn is um, they call, they have magic drills, square drills, and pebble drills, or pebble round. And at first my thought, my brain thought magic rounds or magic drills would be the sparkly ones, right? Thank the Lord that I called, or not called, I didn't call China, seriously, um, I messaged them and asked, and it was um, the pebble drills are the ones that are the rhinestones. So, um, but yeah, check them out. I don't have the store memorized. I think this is the store's name, though, but that'll take you directly to the link. Um, Le Leo Jai Yuan. But that link will take you directly to their store. And they do do customs, or you can order from them in the pebble, round, or square. So just a little, I gave you a hint for free. <laughs> That's why the hard hat was great. Hey, Shirley's Crafty World. I know, I'm uh, taking what Mrs. Coffee said. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pause for just a minute. It'll still be live, but you may hear some grunts. <laughs> I'm going to try to put these away. So what I do is I bought this poster board. It's like, it's not really poster board. It's kind of like squishy straight board from Dollar Tree. And it was a dollar, and then I reinforced it. No, I bought two of them, and then I re. No, it was one. I reinforced it with duct tape, and then that's what I keep my um, undone diamond paintings in, except for these few. Sorry for all the extra grunt and noise here. I don't want to get these back, so that we're. We're not needing. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Clean up on aisle five. Goodbye to you all. I have to go clean up on aisle five. But that'll be for another day. <laughs> yeah, right, Shirley? Exactly. Okay. So that's my stash. That's what I do behind the scenes. I do have one unboxing to do later. I'm not going to do it live. Uh, 
I'm stuck. Stuck on you. Got a feeling down deep in my soul. Sorry. You guys don't want to hear me sing. Okay. Back to diamond painting. Well, that only took 45 minutes. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> small they come in all sizes but that's okay <laughs> Tahisha you just go on and go get yourself some okay all right so I have a couple notes of some things I wanted to share I already talked about my little diamond art club chat I had the other night with them <coughs> Um, I wanted to address Eski. Eski is still in the room. Oh, I have miscellaneous. <laughs> Eskies, you still awake or did you fall asleep? So, um, I, I didn't want to talk behind your back. So, I uh, took some NyQuil last night, but I wanted to stay up late enough to see and say hello to Eski. She was doing hers at 3 a.m., and I didn't want her to feel alone. And so, as I'm watching chat and trying to like keep my eyes open, um, because I had taken some NyQuil, Tell you, that's some serious stuff there. Um, <laughs> I kept seeing these like random people talking gibberish, and I, I, I'm trying to put two and two together. Like, what are they talking about? And then I'd hear <coughs> Estes going, We got another one. <laughs> we got another one. <laughs> I was like, What is she talking about? And then I realized the the phrases that I was seeing were trolls and they were just coming up and saying like random crap and it was because it was three she had a th three to five a.m. Eastern Standard Time and I was like oh <laughs> I'm not going crazy these are trolls I wanted to like send her insulin, but I was too tired. So she had amazing moderators and they did great. So you did wonderful Eskies. <laughs> Sorry, water break. So yeah, that was kind of my story. I wanted to share on the back end of what was happening <laughs> with me and my delusional state. Um, I also wanted to talk about Dreamer Designs customer service. Um, I will talk about it in my post review of them, but their site says 24-7, and back when I was, I can't remember, but I know Mrs. Coffee, you were there, I had finished my dream, oh, it was with um, Wolfpack. Hey, good morning. <laughs> So, I, um, Ginger, Ginger, you just missed it. I did a full 45 minutes of my stash. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I, I went through every single diamond painting. I went under my desk. I needed to call out for help. <laughs> Nobody showed up. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. Two people showed up to help me. Great job. Oh, Allie, thanks. I love you, too. And I, Allie, I saw that you finished your pumpkin, your Nightmare Before Christmas. It was so gorgeous. You persevered through that like a boss. You did great. So, good night, Shalina. So, uh, yeah, Ginger, Ginger, you'll have to, if you have time, 
you'll have to go back. But yeah, I have things falling on my head. I have aisle five cleanup over here on the other side. <laughs> I know, Becky. <laughs> Yeah, so um, when I was in Wolfpack and I finished, um, I immediately emailed, um, oh, Ginger Ginger, that's okay. You have an amazing night. I won't be able to see your morning after. <laughs> I'll be at work myself, um, but I'll, I'll watch the replay like I always do. Yes, Rosetta. I, Jen got put in the corner. <laughs> I guess it's because I'm not a baby. They don't put babies in the corner, but they put Jennifer. <laughs> <coughs> so, um, yeah, so we, we're clocking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cindy is, oh. You definitely need to make sure your seatbelt's on, Ginger. It's <laughs> <He's> driving. <laughs> um, so yeah, I messaged Dreamer Designs, and I, you know, it was twenty four seven, and on their customer service. So I messaged them, and I'm thinking, all right, if they say twenty four seven, then I should hear. I wonder how long it would take. <laughs> We could do like an indefinite live for Wolfpack and see her go through her stash. Um, and so I messaged them. I'm thinking, okay, anywhere from one to two hours because if they say 24-7, they should be having someone constantly looking through their emails. And I'm so used to Diamond Art Club. I mean, anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes I hear from them unless they're on a bathroom break. And... It, you know what? It was eight hours later. I think it was, I woke up after Esky. I forget somebody who was on when I woke up. Because I missed Jeremy because I was taking a nap. Woke up for Esky, fell asleep with Esky, and then I woke up a couple hours later. And I messaged them through Facebook, and I said, um... <laughs> You're welcome, Blonde Noir. I'm glad I could do that. So, yeah, 24 hour live with Wolf. <laughs> um, turtles arrived with taters after me. <laughs> um, so, I messaged them through Facebook and I was like, you know, I'm just wondering how you're 24 hours. I was trying to be like passively, aggressively nice. I was like, I wonder how your 24-7 customer service works because last night I messaged through your website and I haven't heard back yet and it's been eight hours. And then they messaged me back instantly and they were like, whoa. Uh, we just messaged you, like, great minds think alike kind of email message. And so I checked my email, and there it was. And they said, oh, we have the drills in stock, but our something about their warehouse manager wasn't in to be able to release them or find them. or I don't know what it was, but they're mailing them out on May 9th. So that's the update where I was just like, um, I'm... I kind of don't know what 24-7 means. You know, if you're going to advertise 24-7, um, that was kind of interesting. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted. I'm going to wait and do my post review for when I receive them so I can give you the lowdown on how long it took and the quality of the replace, not replacements, but I was shorted, so more. All right, where is this J? Gotta find J. I can't talk and look for the letter J at the There it is. So yeah, that's <laughs> laughing out loud. Yeah, sorry, no. You know, Wolfpack, I just heard your laugh in my head. <laughs> you know, I think that Mrs. Coffee hit it right on when she was talking about how they probably put it through 
um, like a Photoshop and enhanced, enhanced the colors because the colors are just really off and I wish they would have left the artistry how it would. Like I loved the, what is it? It starts with an E, something bridge, can never pronounce it. But I feel like the water was this green blue instead of aqua, like it was supposed to be. And I just feel like they messed with it a little bit. Hey, honeydew! I'm glad you made it. <laughs> this coffee. I was shocked, Mrs. Coffee. When I saw that, I was like, whoa. I know how to get her. Buy one, get one. <laughs> so if I need to sell anything and want Mrs. Coffee, I'll be like, buy one, get one. I'm gonna buy one, get one. This slime my daughter made from scratch. <laughs> no, Mrs. Coffee. I just, I just was shocked that. I don't know how to put it. I was just surprised it was so soon. Um, honey, we went. Honey, do we went through my stash, and then I was just giving some like wandering you know like pondering minds want to know chit chat what I was saying so oh Eliza bridge yeah I like somebody changed the color of the water to blue and I think it looked a lot better I don't know if they had extras from dreamer design or if they had their own leftovers Yeah, Mrs. Coffee. I um, bef I talked to them shortly after I received mine, and asked them if any changes had been made yet. And they said no. They're selling out of their current stash first, their current stock, and they're currently implementing changes and doing another order. And I asked, you know, you said you ran out of this one, and you're restocking. Is the restock going to have changes? And they said, yes, the restock is going to have changes, but they haven't restocked yet. And I think that was the philosophy behind the buy one, get one. Because I know that's what DAC does, right? Um, they do a really good sale right before they restock. Um, and that's the only reason I thought that, because you had mentioned in your video about the DAC sale and they, that's what they do when they restock. And so when I saw the buy one, get one, I was like, oh, I also I wonder if that's what they're doing. And then when you opened them and there was no change, and then from what I had heard, I was just putting two and two together thinking that's probably what happened. Yeah, Rosetta. <coughs> I was curious too. You know, I was wondering for charting if maybe they put it through a computer first just to give them some idea and then go through and like tweak it so it looks good or if they start from scratch <laughs> Allie's dream job is to have a DP store Yeah, because I would think it would be really hard to sit down and try to, with the 500 different colors, come up with the color system from scratch. But that's just me. I'm not good at that kind of thing. I could be wrong. I know Stitcherista was talking about, because of all the stitching she does, that... Um, that she knows the DMC colors inside and out. Andy, you have your dream job. What is your dream job? Who does DP with anxiety? Or who has anxiety that does DP? Actors Guild. <laughs> oh, hey, Diamond in the Rough. Glad you 
check away for a few. Oh, dog behavioral rehabilitation. Awesome, Andy. Eskies, hit him up for something. <laughs> yeah, I have anxiety issues myself. So, diamond painting has really helped me be able to ground myself in both what I see, what I hear, what I feel, if it's from China, what I smell. I would just like to tell everybody that I did not open that package. I do not plan on opening the package from China that has the white stuff in it. I did message... Oh. <laughs> oh, Christine, I'm so glad. Andy works with traumatized, abused, neglected dogs, dogs that would otherwise be unadoptable, so they can trust people again. That's awesome, Andy. Ginger, I was just talking to my mother. She works for Walmart. She is not very happy with them. They changed, she said they changed their policy on, like, quarterly bonuses or something. And if you're even late for work, like, you lose your chance to have a bonus. And they change, like, PTO and how you're supposed to be given it and just a whole bunch of stuff. And I was like, dang, they want to say that they give benefits, but then they don't let you earn them. Because there's so many restrictions. What can we do to help? Andy, my Zoe Zoom Zoom is a submissive peer. She's three years old. It took us two and a half years to get her to stop peeing. Just when I looked at her. <laughs> oh, she is an amazing dog. She loves so thoroughly. But I think she was the runt of the litter. And she is not an alpha dog. Oh my goodness, our other dog was an alpha dog. Why did you work from home? Uh, I have my dream job too. I love it. I love going to work every day. I love having the flexibility of being able to pick my daughter up two days a week. Um, I love my coworkers. I love my clients I work with. It's intense sometimes, but that's what I do for diamond painting. I do self-care so I can come down off of the trauma horse. Hey, Cindy's Traveling Crafts. How are you? Diamond in the Rough, what do you do? You love your job? Hey, okay, so let's take a moment... And I would love to hear what everyone does if they are open, keeping you guys happy. <laughs> I would love to hear if everybody is open, what they do for a living or what they, if they are stay at home, that's amazing. Um, I would love that too. That would be my second dream job. So, um, yeah, let's share if you feel open to it. Oh, that's awesome, Diamond in the Rough. I'd love to do that. So she's a train controller. Frozen Crafter is a teacher. Andy told us about his uh, taking care of traumatized dogs. Brandy's a caregiver for the disabled. Donnie makes YouTube videos. Woohoo! An Etsy shop. Love it. Selling pens and accessories. Mrs. Coffee keeps her family alive and clean. <laughs> Cassandra's a cashier at Hub. Molly, that's okay. Do you just love life or at least work on loving life? Let's see. Trisha's a stay-at-home mom and writer. <coughs> Cindy Strowling Cross works at Hallmark. Ginger Reborn. That's okay, Ginger. What do you love to do? Christine's a financial secretary. 
Wolfax assistant manager at a hotel. Ooh, Becky delivers flowers. Susan's a banker. Lizzie works in a factory. Eskies is a retired vocalist and U.S. Navy nurse. Now she takes care of her son and deals with her own physical disab disabilities. One Crack Mom's a stay-at-home mom. Oh, really fast. Got to scroll up. Uh, Carol B. just retired from accounting. Don't know what that is, Brandy. Oh, way to go, Donnie. <laughs> Inslee's accounts payable data entry. And she is a high school principal. Woo! You go, girl. Creative Granny makes cars. Wow. Got off my meds as a customer privation consultant for an insurance company. It's too late for me to say that five times fast. Cindy B is a full time diamond painter, retired teacher of 37 years. Quiet inspirations on permanent disability. Alexis is a chef. Woohoo! She fights for their rights and helps to change laws for food and big store workers. Diamond painting with anxiety is on site live in case managers in case manager for a homeless shelter. Compliance auditor for a drug and alcohol treatment facility. Steph with Kiwi is a registered nurse in age care. Marissa is an HR office manager. Honeydew is a file clerk and backup receptionist. Sherry's disabled. That's okay, Sherry. We love you. Benoit is in retirement. <laughs> Mindy teaches second grade. I know, Mindy. Not for long. One more year, right? Kathy works for her husband. <laughs> she hates it. Molly's trying to love life. Michelle is spoiled by hubby and care for granddaughter. Mrs. Coffee fesses up. She tests patterns for Happy Hook magazines. <laughs> Brandy would love to deliver flowers. Uh, Ginger Ginger works for Walmart until she wins the lottery. Angie's a stay-at-home crafter. April's a diamond painter. Sparkle On works in victim assistance. Rhonda just says I. <laughs> Wendy's an auto claim adjuster. jumped on me worked I thought he said worked with a brain injury she works with brain injured people and had to quit because of fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome yeah Angie I have chronic fatigue as well it's so that's why I needed to find something that didn't drag me down as much um, Corey's retired kindergarten teacher one crack mom learned how to turn wood diamond painting Ooh. Jill's on disability, soulful brush, fitting room attendant at Goodwill. Rhonda comes back second time around. She's administrative assistant, does a lot of data entry and audits. Ginger Reborn, loves spending time with grandkids. She wants to be a reborn artist. She diamond paints. Keeps jumping on me. Jennifer Jones is a home care provider. Yeah, Lily, thank you. <laughs> oh, and Mrs. Coffee also gives huggies to Jennifer Jones. Cat's Gallery is a retired teacher. Karina is an ex chef for disability. I know, you guys are amazing. All right, Cindy Outer Butter Crafting. She's the CFO for a medical practice. Becky's an office manager for an engineer firm. Molly used to volunteer at a battered person's advocacy place. Samantha's a nurse. Taya, I have an adult severely handicapped daughter and stay at home to look after her. Aww. Hmm. It's so hard, Tanya. Is it Tania? Is that how you pronounce it? 
Rebecca was a CNA for almost 20 years, but due to a failed back surgery, is unable to work. I hope you get that disability. Kathy Goodman has fibro. There's a lot of fibromyalgia too. Brandy's a short order cook. All right, I think I've caught up with everybody. You guys do amazing work out there. Woohoo! All right, drink break. It's only water this time. No Mike's Hard Lemonade. All right. So we're going to quiet the chat one more time. And if you have a channel, put in an emoji. Let's give some love to these creators. Not only are you doing work outside of diamond painting, you're working inside. What you doing? Who's out there creating? I'm a creator, you're a creator, we're all creators. We're in this together. All right, we got Trish, Diamond and Rough, Diamond Painting with Eskies, GGDP, Becky's Madness, Frozen Crafters, Sherry's Creative Niche, Rhonda, Lizzie Bates, Corey, My Crazy Craft Edition, Wolfpack, Crafting with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, Karina Cool Creations. I know, I'm asking a lot of you tonight, it's so late at night. Mindy's Diamond Moment. Diamond in the Rough says emoji, emoji, emoji. <laughs> oh. Sparkle on Diamond Painting with Cat. Honeydew's waiting. You're on deck, right, Honeydew? You're waiting to start that first channel. Gone off my meds. Oh, ho, ho. I'm coming over to Wendy's house. She's got it going on. Diamond Painting with Anxiety, Cindy's Traveling Crafts. Alright, I just have to say that you guys influence me like no other. Because I watch your channels and I actually listen. And <laughs> so, um, yeah, Wendy's passing them out, so everybody take one, okay? <laughs> I get the cocktail. Um, Wendy kept talking about Morbid, and I was attempting to listen to my favorite murder, but I don't know if it's the ones I was listening to or what, but they were, s I don't mind swearing. I swear sometimes myself. I don't judge people who swear, but I don't like to listen to it nonstop because then I get put in a bad mood. And I just, I can't do it with my anxiety, and it just brings me down. So I know that about myself. Some people it doesn't do that to. That's great. Um, because you have to just know yourself. And my favorite murder, um, <laughs> hey, Jeremy Fryer, so glad you could make it. Jeremy's becoming quite the celebrity. Rad <laughs> bracelets. Can't wait to see it, Andy. So, um, I love, this is going to sound horrible, but I love watching, like, documentaries or reading about, like, um, James Patterson, serial killers, those kind of things. And so I thought my favorite murder, so Teresa was talking about it. So I started trying to listen to it, and it was just, like, every other word was just a word and after a while I'm like I, I can't do this and I'd rather I, I want to hear about the serial killer and so um, but then Wendy started talking about morbid and so I went and I checked them out and they're more my style I mean they swear that's fine like I said that was fine but you get some meat in it you know it's like the story and then when they do it's worth it. Like it means something, you know, it's just not another random word. And so, um, I was like, yeah. 
And so I've been listening and I just finished the fourth episode, which was um, on Ted Bundy. And I know Netflix had a, like a four part documentary on him. And I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody's going to want to hospitalize me because they're going to look at my podcast list and be like, what the heck? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, right, Rhonda? Like, it just, um, yeah, frozen crafter. I think it's scary because you see him. Um, but... Yeah, I feel like there's a place for it, and it's so powerful when there's a place for it. Um, but I'd rather hear about the serial killer. And so I'm I'm kind of addicted to Morbid now. And I was trying to listen to it. Wendy laughed at me because we message each other from time to time. And I was trying to listen to it. I think it was like the second. No, it was, yeah, the second episode or third episode they were talking about, you know, kind of this unsolved mystery in Russia and how these people were murdered in really random ways, um, but they didn't know and all these conspiracy theories and it wasn't an avalanche. It was like potentially UFOs or an, a Yeti or all these like governmental experiments and I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to like fall asleep to this, but I keep thinking do 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 messaged her and I was like oh you are so bad you introduced me to this and now I'm gonna have nightmares of UFOs or yetis chasing me around and ripping my tongue out <laughs> oh goodness <laughs> no honeydew I haven't listened to the serial killer's daughter I will I'll have to mission declassified ooh that sounds good. I'm going to go back through and write these down because I'm not going to remember this late at night. <laughs> good job, Jill. Way to be assertive. I'm putting you in charge. You are my assistant. Or I should say you are the DP community's assistant to let us know. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you to mute your phones. For those of you new, I'm getting over a cold. <laughs> Get away with killing someone. Um, I used to watch Unsolved Mysteries with my mom growing up. And... Yeah, cats. <laughs> there, <clears throat> I was reading there about us on their website. They're not sisters, but they might as well will be. They should be. They grew up together and get along well. Excuse me. One is a um, cosmetologist, and the other is an autopsy. Person. I forget the exact professional name for it. Yeah, Wendy. <laughs> the problem is, is it's hooked up to my phone for Bluetooth. So what I normally do is listen to the radio while driving my daughter to school. And then I'll switch over to the podcast after I drop her off and listen to it on the 10 minutes to work. And I'll forget. And so then... I'll get back in the car and because it's Bluetooth connected, my phone will connect and start playing. And if I forget to stop it because my brain's thinking something else, my daughter's in the back seat and will be like, and this person was, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> don't listen, don't listen. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I used to watch Unsolved Mysteries all the time. Oh, Mindy, a good romance? Sure. <laughs> Do you have a good romance that you want to talk about? <laughs> yeah, I haven't been in a romantic mood lately, so I used to love romantic comedies.
Time to go. Oh, Diamond in the Rough. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your shift. Thanks for stopping by on break. Hey guys, look at this. I put some drills down. <laughs> Super excited. week's a busy week. My parents are coming in town tomorrow and um, so I won't be around tomorrow night or Tuesday night because they're coming in to see my daughter has a band con con conference concert so they're coming in they live six hours away so they're gonna come be grandma and grandpa They'll be here tomorrow night and Tuesday night and then leave sometime on Wednesday. But then again, Sunday nights when I go to bed through Thursday, right before Wolf Packs live, I'm 100% nonstop busy no matter what lately. It's getting old real fast. <laughs> Romance is a myth. It doesn't happen. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, Ginger Ginger. Mindy and I were talking about you all day yesterday in her live. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, my parents are coming. It'll be fun. I like when they come. But I have to like pre-plan. We have a fruit market up the street that has a great like a meat counter. And I like to go get fresh ground beef up there. And it's usually for half the price it is in the big store. Plus, you know, it's fresh. And so I set my husband up there while Donnie was live. And he came back and he's like, they're out of ground beef. So now we have to buy, because I've got to fry up the meat tonight. So I don't have to do it tomorrow. So he went to the big grocery store, which is literally a mile down the road. And that's where he is now. So I'm waiting for him to get home. Probably hear the dog barking. night Sherry thank you so much for stopping by yeah Andy it takes a lot of effort I'm going through a lot right now I want to be respectful of my family's privacy but it's it's pretty pretty crappy right now but we'll get there I'm just tired of having to work so hard all the state in time. We've been married for almost 16 years and every time I turn around, it's like an, really another thing I have to deal with. And we'll get there. So I love him to death though. So we'll get there. Oh, the voice is in my head stopped, so it's really quiet on this side of the camera right now. <laughs> Must have been their bedtime. <laughs> okay, so um, I have coming up next weekend, I hope to, it's Mother's Day, but I hope to film several videos. I've got two post reviews to do. I have my therapeutic tool, which I have already in my mind to do on fear, unless you guys have something else you would like me to do it on instead. Um, and then I have an unboxing to do, and um, I'm trying to think of something else to throw in there. It's kind of 
switch it up some. <laughs> so if there's anything you would like to see a video on, let me know. I would love to serve you in that way. And no, I am not going to be doing any pole dancing. That is, uh, but we have to be there for Redneck Beauty. She's got to do this. We've got to support her because she's going to do well in the contest. Right, Mrs. Coffee? She's got this one in the bag. I have several friends who are doing um, it as a, um, like workout. That's what how Redneck Beauty does it, right? And, you know, there's yoga and there's um, all these other things. Um, but I, <laughs> so, I'm so old school. Okay, in 7th and 8th grade, we rotated what we did in gym class. And, um, <laughs> okay, woo, there we go. <laughs> Um, <laughs> in gym class, we would rotate through all of the sports, but then there would be other things too. And we did aerobics one time. And so the, uh, like six months ago, I was like, I'm going to look up aerobics for fat people. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I'm talking about myself, heavy set people, because I need something that I can do that won't kill me. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm so 80s child because there's no such thing as aerobics anymore. <laughs> so yeah, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. Into the life of Jennifer and, and her brain. Ah, <laughs> uh, girthy, there you go. <laughs> Um, I would go to Thailand. I worked for an anti-human trafficking organization for 10 years. And I would go to Thailand every other year. And so they'd be these really petite women. And they would look at me and they'd be like, whoa. Oh my goodness. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> and I felt like I was in a... Um, shop getting my nails done because they had massage places there not the other places I mean they had those too but legit massage places and they'd go to massage my thigh and they'd be like whoa it's like stop it that's so inappropriate <laughs> I know I'm girthy <laughs> you're not making me any more comfortable <laughs> oh Good job, Ginger. How'd you do it? Was it working at Walmart, running up and down those aisles in the middle of the night when no one's looking? I just like food, people, and my metabolism doesn't exist at all. The doctor told me I have to work three times as hard to get my metabolism going because every calorie that I put in my mouth, my body wants to burn. So it's like, I literally would have to eat celery for the next two years, and I would still only lose 20 pounds. It's ridiculous. And so they're all like, well, you should have this, you know, surgery. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm still in my 30s. I do not want you removing half or all of my stomach. So my heart is healthy. My joints are healthy. My cholesterol is fine. As long as I'm keeping myself physically healthy at this weight, then I'm fine with it. So. Noir, we were just talking about being girthy and I just read stretch bars without my glasses and thought you were talking about stretch marks. <laughs> oh, stretch.
started the keto diet. Oh, I heard that, Ginger Ginger, and I need to start that. Way to go, Andy May. Way to go. I think the most I've lost at any time was 40 pounds. I go up and down within the, a 20 pound spot. So, we'll see how it goes. I do know I need to drink more water. <laughs> If I could lose a hundred pounds, I would be happy. I need to lose a hundred pounds. And I know I just need to like buck up and do it because if I, no I did not swear, um, because if I had just started last year by this time, I would have been fine. So. Well, Inslee, even if I lost a hundred pounds, I'd still be pretty heavy for my height but I think I'd be fine with my weight then sorry water break <laughs> I love that <laughs> can I put my 20 pounds I want to lose in with yours sure what if we do like <laughs> so my goal my first goal is to just start getting on a exercise pattern I call it a pattern or a routine because I'd like to exercise, I don't care what the pattern is. If it's one day a week, if it's two days a week, just kind of getting myself back in the habit of doing it. Because I know I can. I played soccer for 10 years. You know, it's, it's something I just need to do. Number two, if I can, um, where was I going? Woo, squirrel. <laughs> where did the squirrel go? Number two, if I can get down so I can go um, buy in a normal store. Like, I would love to be able just to go up to a rack. I don't even care if it's a size 16 or, you know, but go in and buy off of the rack would be amazing. Um, and so, like, that's, I just have to get there. So, yeah. I think I just need to get in a, a good exercise habit, and then I think I need to just do it. And I had a couple other points, but they're gone. <laughs> oh, I know, diamond painting with anxiety, but I'm sure everybody has, um, poop, Andy, what? I'm sure everybody uh, has had their eyes open for a long time, and I appreciate you ending the DP marathon, DP paint along, DP a thon with me. We still have 30 minutes to go. It's positive. Oh, I remember squirrels back. Um, I want to be able to complete a 5K, even if it's walking. Right now, I can't complete a 5K. So, I want to be able to get in an exercise routine. I want to be able to walk a 5K. I want to lose 30 pounds, then 50, and then move on. My ultimate goal is 100. And I don't know when I'm going to start this. These are just goals. There's... So, um, yeah, I'm telling you though, when I went to Uganda, I think I lost 15 pounds and I'll probably gain 10 of those back, 
My pants are still loose, but not like they were when I first got back. Because, dang, I was sweating probably three gallons of water a day, no lie. And I was, oh, congratulations, Cassandra. <laughs> I like to stand up and diamond paint. I put my drills a few steps away. I can sit and do it also. Um, Woohoo, good job, Frozen Crafter. I know it was a huge section, but do you feel good? about um like do you feel good that you're now up to where you want to be like a straight across or a yeah jennifer jones you know what jennifer jones um you and ginger ginger both have the same goal the question is are you playing the lotto because <laughs> you can't win without playing so, oh yeah, Blonde Wire. <laughs> oh. Okay, mediators, can you, moderators, can you step in there for me? Diabetic squirrel, aisle five. <laughs> Do we have any moderators in here? Thank you. I did have mods. They're just not in here. Well, I'm going to add some more since I have you guys in here. read that one out loud <laughs> oh bye Mindy sleep well all right so some of you should be mods now there you go Crazy, crazy. I remember Eskies, they um, came into your, didn't one come in last night and just be like, can I be a moderator? And I was like, oh, Eskies, don't make him a moderator. It's random people. <laughs> they just come in. It's like, sure. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't block Angie. What did I do? Where's Angie? Angie! <laughs> we don't want Angie blocked. How do I unblock her? <laughs> oh no, tell her we didn't mean to. <laughs> Just ignorant people. Oh, hi Angie. Is that you? Are you back? <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, she's safe. Woohoo! <laughs> Good thing we pulled Angie out of the water. We brought her back to life. that you're here. <laughs> oh, goodness. What 
did you learn about yesterday, Mindy? She lives. <laughs> One guy to let go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I <laughs> Yeah, if somebody asks to be a moderator, that's not, and you don't know them, that is not not a good sign I know I forget who's live but somebody's like can I be a moderator and they're like yeah sure let me make you a moderator and I was like oh gosh I know I'm fairly new to the scene but I I'd like to know that I've seen at least some of your names sometimes <laughs> oh Andy May have you heard why Okay, so is there anybody in here who has not heard? <laughs> this is coffee. I'm evoking your moderator status. <laughs> so, um, Andy May, there's a reason why I talk about a... Um... <laughs> oh, okay, so are we coming over to you? And see, you're seeing us to sleep. I'll stay up for that. Well, until you sing me to sleep. So my first, I think it was my first live, maybe my second live. Mrs. Coffee came in, and um, did we unblock her, Wendy? I think we unblocked her. Or how do I unblock her? Um, oh, I don't know how to do this, people. How do we unblock her? Yeah. All right, I'm going to YouTube. Like, do I go to my channel and see? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I uh, one of my first or second lives, I was like, what in the world? Okay, scroll. I think you have to scroll up and dots by her name. Okay. Let's see. So I scroll, scroll. Oh. She was timed out by Karina for 300 seconds. So Angie should be back after 300 seconds. It didn't have dots next to it. I tried. It didn't have dots. So that she was timed out. Let me see if she's... She was put in timeout. <laughs> oh no, Karina! <laughs> but it said that she'll be back in 300 seconds. <laughs> There's no way to take her on a timeout. I tried. <laughs> We had too much to drink, right? <laughs> no, that's okay, Karina. You'll just have to apologize to her. <laughs> I don't think she did anything with T. I think it just scrolled too fast when she was trying to get rid of the troll. <laughs> Angie, you're back. <laughs> Karina has something to tell you. <laughs> Karina, <laughs> apologize to your sister.
TC. <laughs> Angie, we were trying to get rid of a troll and chat went so fast that you accidentally got put in timeout. There was no way for us to get you back. We had to wait for 300 seconds. So, um, we're really sorry. <laughs> but we all loved you. <laughs> and we were... <laughs> And we were all like, where is she? We need to search for her. And poor Andy May was running around the room going, ah! <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, if you hear about diabetic turtles, my first troll came in and asked if turtles can be diabetic. And I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> So we had this whole conversation for like, what, three to five minutes? And Mrs. Coffee finally told me that uh, he was a troll. But we turned him. <laughs> so um, he ended up staying for a little bit. And so now we always joke about how trolls are labeled as diabetic turtles. And that's why when we do emojis for creators, I use turtles a lot of times. Um, so yeah. So if Jennifer Jones is in the room, that's where the diabetic turtle came from, too. And sometimes, because your name's Jennifer and my name's Jennifer, we get confused. So, um, but yeah. So yeah, um, sometimes I'll be like, we need some insulin over here. <laughs> yeah, I think he did. We never, like, deleted him or anything like that. I think, like, we won him over, Wendy. We were just such a great community <laughs> so um <laughs> mrs coffee is always on she is on point she is on target she's got it going on but i don't think she's live well julie i'm glad you're really not a turtle because that would just be sad Okay, slap the like button or potato mash it. Whatever one you want to do. Thanks, Andy May. <laughs> it's her <old> day. <laughs> the funny thing is, <coughs> and I, it's not really funny, but a couple people thought you actually, um, you, that I actually had a diabetic turtle. That person's probably in the room. I don't remember who it was, but I'm like, no, I'd kill the poor turtle. <laughs> I'm not very good with gr things that are green. I kill plants. I kill, you know, lizards by accident. That's another story um, for another day. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah, it, it's... Um, it's been real. So, oh, did I throw a potato at it? No, no, not today. I, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> potato. <laughs> oh, I am going to do a video coming up probably next weekend that will be released the, the week after. Once my parents leave. I know, isn't it, Rhonda? You made that connection. <laughs> Um, bye, Cindy. Yeah, Alexis, don't, don't get me near lizards. It's not on purpose. <laughs> but, um, oh, Wendy, uh, Eskies has been singing to us lately, and she would like you to hear her beautiful voice. And I think she was saying you haven't been in her live when she's had the opportunity to sing to us. Correct me if I'm wrong, Eskies. <clears throat> so yeah, so if anybody's awake after this, um, I think, aren't we going over to you Eskies for a couple minutes? I won't be able to stay too long, but we can maybe hear her give us a good night song. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm going to do a whip and chat on, um, <laughs> make the prettiest frame with these. Um, So yeah, I, I think I'm going to do a video on uh, 
confessions of a goody two shoes. So yeah, because the other day I was thinking, you know, I'm such a goody goody at work. Everybody looks at me and they're like, nah, you would never do that. I'm sitting here going, um, I, I don't know because I've done some pretty whacked out stuff like the throw in the potato. So, um, I thought that I would do, <laughs> see ginger ginger, now you know how I feel when I have to go to work and you're on. This is not fair. <laughs> Turn around, it's fair play. Um, hey Susan, I'm so glad you made it. <coughs> So yeah, I um, am kind of excited to uh, be vulnerable <laughs> and share how ungoody to shoe I am right now. So yeah, that's kind of confessions of a goody to shoe. I think I'm going to film that next week. <sighs> this is coffee. I can't believe you remember that. goodness <laughs> yeah for those of you who do not know um, the man I dated before I uh, married my husband <laughs> because Rana I don't know how many stories I have um, <laughs> Mrs. Coffee tells it so much better <laughs> <coughs> yes, there were cheese sticks involved. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, I don't have enough time to tell it tonight. You just have to come back and see. But yeah, I had an ex-boyfriend um, before my husband who worked for... Um, a pizza company and I kept trying to break up with him and I couldn't and I was getting free pizza out of it so, <laughs> so yeah I, I I gained like the freshman 15 times too because I was getting free pizza from Papa John's and then he moved to Pizza Hut and I mean it's, it's serious girl serious <laughs> yeah, so um, I think I ended up nine months. It was crazy. But if you go back and watch some of my lives, I think I tell that story. I don't know which one. It's a lot of ups and downs with the story. <clears throat> but yeah. Oh. <sighs> So are there any, this is the last call, the last call DP party. So a girl's got to eat. <laughs> what does number four mean, Wendy? Are you getting rid of people for me? <laughs> a slice is a slice, yes. We had a homemade pizza tonight. Wasn't as good as Papa John's though. So anyway, that's kind of, so yeah, this is last call for the diamond paint along and, uh, yeah, go get ready Eskies. Um, my voice is checking out soon, so I'm glad that Eskies has her voice. So anybody who wants it, uh, after the diamond paint along song fest. <laughs> Good night, Blanoir. Thank you for staying up for us. I appreciate it. And I did get some drills down, and you guys got to see my stash. So for those of you who came a little late, feel free to go and watch the first, you know, half hour to 45 minutes. I show all the diamond paintings I have in my stash. 
Um, so feel free to check that out. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and click the bell. Also down below, hit the like button if you liked it. Um, I do unboxings, I do post reviews, <clears throat> I do, I'm a therapist for tortured refugees, so I do like a therapeutic whip and chat that talks about different things that help us along, um, and so I do different topics. My next one I'm hoping to videotape will be on fear and how we get over our fears. Oh, no, that's my husband. He's uh, opening and closing the dishwasher. <laughs> um, and I do whipping chats, or they're actually, I call them drill with me's. And um, yeah, so my next drill with me, I hope to do as a confessions of a goody two shoe. <laughs> it's just, for, see, I need a hard hat here. <laughs> I need to go clean up on aisle five. I fear it. And Mrs. Coffee, I'm so glad I have empowered you. <laughs> I have never seen you this intense as a moderator. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa Addy. I'm so glad. And I just, I want people to enjoy life. I do try to do some reviews from time to time on our channel um, just to see what's going on in my crazy life. So. Yeah, I'll just chill out here for a little bit, but I wish everybody a good night. And head over to Eskies or see if she's live already. I don't know. Um, but yeah, until next time. <laughs> Have a wonderful night, and I thank you for closing off the DP-a-thon. <laughs> What's the name, Jane? <laughs> Oh, thank you guys. I'll see you guys later. Have a great night. You're getting dizzy. You're getting dizzy. You're getting dizzy.